Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel once again. So in the last video we studied about uh, RC circuit where pulse width was much lesser than the time constant but the time period was much more than the time constant. So in this video we are going to study about a situation where the pulse width as well as the time period is lesser than the time constant, much lesser than the time constant. So for that we have considered pulse width equals 0.1 millisecond time pe period as 0.2 milliseconds and tau equals r into c which is 1 millisecond if you multiply 1k with 1 microfarads it comes to 1 millisecond so the input waveform will look like this where we have pulse width of 0.1 and the time period of 0.2 let's try to to draw the output waveform across the capacitor for this input waveform okay here since time period is much lesser than tau and the pulse width is also much lesser than tau the capacitor will neither charge completely nor discharge completely so the condition for this circuit we can analyze is the capacitor will not completely charge because the pulse width wp if you recall from the last lectures what we can say is the pulse width must be much more than the tau to completely discharge, completely charge the capacitor so here the pulse width is much lesser than the tau it is 0.1 millisecond while the time constant is 1 millisecond which is almost one tenth of the time constant right so it's much lesser so it will not completely charge similarly what we look for discharging completely discharge the capacitor that is t minus wp which is here 2 minus 1 millisecond which is sorry 0.2 minus 0.1 which is 0.1 millisecond so 0.1 millisecond is t minus wp the condition for t, uh, complete di discharging of the capacitor is t minus wp must be much more than tau but here it's opposite of that so this is the ideal case of a capacitor which neither discharges completely nor discharges completely so let's see the how the waveform would look like at t equals 0 the capacitor will be short circuit at it as it doesn't allow the sudden change in the voltage thereby it's 0 at 0 let's say this is 10 volt this is 5 volt 4.5 volt here it's 2.5 volt and so on at t equals 0 0.1 the capacity t greater than 0 the capacitor will start charging let's see this is 4 millisecond time axis the voltage axis at t equals 0 0.1 millisecond what will happen the capacitor will charge up to certain value it, so and it cannot further charge because we are switching the out input waveform from 9 volt to 0, 0 volt therefore we have to draw the charging equation only till 0 0.1 we can also find out the voltage at 0 0.1 which would be vc of t equals 9 which is the steady state voltage across the capacitor into 1 minus e power t by tau and tau is 1 milli so that that will bring down to this this is for t greater than 0 less than 0 0.1 millisecond okay? Now if you want the exact value what would be the voltage here we can find out by putting T equals V of 0 0.1 which would be 8, 0 point if you calculate it 8565 volt okay. So you can see the maximum voltage that capacitor can charge up to is 9 volt but it's charging only 0.8565 of the maximum uh, out instead of 9 volt. So it is far cry from the maximum voltage. Now it has to discharge as we are switching the 9 volt to 0 volt input voltage so it, the capacitor will start discharging from here on so in case 2 what we can say is discharging equation that would be so what is the value at here is 0 0.8565 because the capacitor as we know that vc of 0 0.1 plus would be equal to vc of 0 0.1 minus right so this is the vc of 0 0.1 minus will be equal to right after 0 0.1 as well right after closing the switch it is something like when capacitor is fully charged we are again closing the switch so now the capacitor will start charging again okay and 
sorry capacitor will start discharging from here on so the voltage for discharging equation would be 0 0.8565 into e power minus 1000 and time discharging starts at 0.1 therefore t minus 0.1 millisecond okay so this is the voltage for t greater than 0 0.1 but less than 2 because discharging happens only till 0 0.2 right after that the capacitor will again start charging because we are again switching the input voltage to 9 volt so charging this point is how much it is 0 0.8565 then it discharges to some value we can find out that value as well here then it discharges till here and then again charges and then discharges okay so this value is the voltage at point 2 millisecond right so if I put here t equals 0.2 millisecond here then we can get the voltage at 0.2 so Vc of 0.2 minus 0.2 would be if you calculate it you will get somewhere near 0 0.775 775 okay so this is the voltage at 0.2 so it will again start charging from 0 0.775 and go up to certain value definitely more than this okay now to get the next if i want to get this voltage what is the very first pulse of the next period to get that we have to write down the charging equation once again at 0 0.2 millisecond so a charging equation at 0 0.2 millisecond would be vc of t equals we can apply this formula so v of infinity is 9 now v of 0 instead of 0 here we have 0 0.2 milliseconds and 0 0.2 millisecond we have 0 0.775 so what we can do is 9 plus 0 v of 0 so point 0.775 minus v of infinity which is 9 okay into e power minus t by tau okay so this is the equation for t greater than 0 if I write the equation for t greater than 0 0.2 and less than 0 0.3 so what we eventually get is 9 minus 0 0.9 minus 8.225 into e power minus 1000 t and we are finding at t equals 0 0.3 t minus 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 right so this is voltage this is the equation for the charging right after t equals 0 0.2 okay so what we get this is for t greater than 0 0.2 to less than 0 0.3 okay now what we get exactly at 0 0.3 if we put here 0 0.3 in this equation this will give us somewhere 1.558 so the charge right after in the second pulse the very uh, second pulse what we get is 1.558 okay now it will again discharge and then charge discharge it will keep going on we get something like this so the rate of charging as we move ahead after 4 milliseconds the average value of the output would be somewhere near 4.5 volt we can do this simulation into in P, P spice and check where it goes okay it's come somewhere near 4.5 volt after 4 milliseconds okay so that is almost uh, how many tau 4 divided by time period right time period is 0.2 so 20 right 20 20 time constant we are getting somewhere 4.5 volt but what we another observation what we can find out is as the time progresses the rate of charging is decreasing and the rate of discharging is increasing it means the capacitor is charging quickly uh, slowly as we proceed in the time domain and it is discharging quickly there comes a time when the rate of charging becomes equal to the rate of discharging and we get some settled value okay if we want to find out the exact average va value over even beyond this 4 millisecond okay we can do that by multiplying the voltage across capacitor which is vc into 
into the pulse by the ratio of pulse width by time period okay so this will give us the exact uh, average value okay how much time it takes to completely settle down okay so that's all about this video hope you found this video insightful stay connected thank you